crazy journey it's been. And finally, Cardi's dropping music. I guess that's what the project's gonna be called. I remember at one point it was gonna be called Narcissist, but I guess it's gonna be called Music, but apparently this may be the actual cover. And this was spotted in a billboard, and I've been pump faked many different times on this cover and stuff that was capped through Twitter, but I'm gonna take the risk again and say this is the cover art. Cause you can see the parental advisory at the bottom there. You know what I mean? That's exactly what this Cora dude says. This is a cover. You can see the parent of Riser right there. And you can just see right there. He's like super influenced by, um, I guess you could say, Young Thug. Kind of looks like Young Thug. It doesn't even really look like Cardi that much. It could not be Cardi, but you never know. This could just be like some fake news right here. But this this definitely makes sense because just like some of the, the snippets and the direction he's going, he's definitely going in the back to his roots kind of in the sense of not necessarily like self-titled cardi but almost like the because he's from the atl where it's just like very trap driven and if you look at a whole lot of red he kind of went in a different direction kind of in the the whole punk aesthetic and this is like the definition of what trap looks like you know he has a purple hoodie on you know what i mean covering half his face you see these humongous speakers in the background you, just, you can just imagine the heavy 808s. Like, say for a track like Wicked, like Wicked Killers, just the bass, just thumping. You know what I mean? The purple represents the the lean and stuff like that. What well, does it actually, but like, I'm just I'm just talking out of my ass right now. You know what I mean? You gotta show a chain, chain on his wrist, you know what I mean? Like the bracelets, got uh, the huge stacks of money. And I think this album's gonna be a concept album of Playboy Cardi going in the in a trap, you know what I mean? Because, like, I think academics were saying this this project's going to be music that no one's ever made before. And no sound that he's ever made either. So this is going to be, like, some weird concept, Tyler the Creator sound and shit. So I think this would be kind of the perfect cover art for it. I don't know what, why no one's really talking about this. And Christopher, who's known to be a humongous troll, he's also a... Um, what do you call it? He's also in the whole leaking industry and the music and shit like that. And he said, indeed it is. But then again, he could just be trolling because, you know, he, he trolls so many different times. He's even trolled me and shit like that. Let's just read some of the, the comments. And he's like, crazy. And this guy's like, nice. But I could just be really dumb right here and this could just be <laughs> totally cap. But I'm just going to play along with him. And then this guy says, cuddle, cuddle my wrist, which is obviously, you know, a huge future stand because cuddle my wrist was off of, um, what was it called? Beast Mode 2, which I think Beast Mode 2 is one of the most underrated future projects and one of my favorite future projects. It actually sold the most first week just digitally with no hard copies or anything. It sold 60K. But yeah, it looks like he's just kind of, you know, he's embracing He's embracing, um, you know, just the, the the future influence. Like, look at look at this, look at this picture right here. On the purple purple hoodie, lots of different cash. Um, he doesn't have the the bust down bracelet, but he does have. Like, look at look at this. This is this could easily be the cover right here. Parental advisory, and nobody's talking about this. So if this is if this is like actually like facts then. I guarantee I'm the first person that's talking about this. Like, easy money. Like, easy money, man. And I'm not going to even like it because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to like it until I drop a video. Because I know if this if this is real, it's going to go boom. It's going to be out here. You know what I mean? And then let's, let's see what Corey says right here. He said, yeah, that's what he's going for. But the hoodie says flex music instead of vitamins. I, I pronounce that so so bad, though. And then he says, you think he'll release that as merch? Corey's like, probably not. Cut on my wrist is like, yo, that's hard. Like, I don't know why this, this this doesn't have more tweets. Nobody's talking about this. I don't understand. Am I just like a genius here or am I like totally off the map? And this could just be totally fake news and they're pump faking me like crazy. And this is just trolling, mass, like just the most master troll to a whole new level. And I'm just like not seeing it. Um, let's see. This guy's like, that's not the cover. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm like, I don't know if this is the cover or not, but let's just see what the 
um, Cora's like question mark. So like, are they trolling right now? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in pump fake. You know what I mean? And here we go again. Like I said before, play Bacardi. Play Bacardi fans ended up hacking my laptop because I decided to have a honest opinion on the Play Bacardi subreddit and ended up hacking my account, dismantling my account, and hacking into my computer. So they gave me a Trojan. I don't know what's going on. So and then die for Jay says. So the cloning is is like his gimmick, and I think this is very valid because like. If he's trying to look like Future and he's sounding like Future, like on Fiend, like on um, Wicked Killers, on All Red, with the super simple trap sounding shit, this could be like a concept album going in the direction of cosplay and Future. But then Cora's like, shut the fuck up. So I'm like, <laughs> like, own him. Hendrick's so inspirational. And then Rari says, oh my gee, this hoodie says flex music. That's hard. Him and Ken did the same shit, cool aesthetic, limb cover. So this guy's this guy's believing the cover is real. And then Sam Ken Miss Archive says cover fire. So I'm I'm gonna go with this cover is real. You know what I mean? Hard as fuck, not gonna lie. Just a cover. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but like I truly believe, like if you listen to what I said, this could be the cover. You may call me dumb right here. Maybe I'm getting pump fake, like I said. But, like, this would be a fire cover. And I kind of like the concept of what I'm imagining right now. Because I think it would be dope. I think it would be super dope. But I just wanted to go back to the different play with Cardi covers, you know what I mean? Just kind of kind of bring back to the good old days. Like, look at how beautiful this cover is. He's laying on a bed. No, he's, he's laying face up on a bed, I guess. And he's with Ruby Rose, super bad. He's with, I don't even know what chick this is. But yeah, this is just such a legendary cover. And easily 10 out of 10 cover. It's like one of the greatest trap covers of all time. And I think he was smashing Ruby Rose at this point. And maybe dating. Because I think they did date, whatever. And that reminds me of just the whole Ruby Rose and whatever. The bald head ass nigga with a fucking beard. Simp guy that spent 60000 on. Ruby Rose's OnlyFans, you know what I mean? It's some weird shit, but like, Ruby Rose would not have been known if it wasn't for Playbook Card. That's all I'm gonna say. And then let's go to Dyla Cover. And this was quite the vibe here, you know what I mean? It looks like he was at a punk show. She looks like a nigga right here. This is like a nigga right here. A few white people. Cardi just jumping face first and then the end of the crowd and. I think like R.O.P. off of Dialy was one of the first first tracks to just really like open the doors for the sound of a whole lot of red. And aesthetically wise, <laughs> it's a fire cover. It's like it's like a ten out of ten. And you know, Cardi has three classic projects. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Dialy's a classic, even though I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of the project. Like listening through all the way through, I was never. It's never been in my top five of any year, but like even going back to it, it's just like it's a pretty flawless project. You know what I mean? I would say probably a whole lot of red is my favorite album that he's dropped. Like in twenty late twenty twenty, I gave it um probably probably my second highest score ever behind the Little Uzi Vert vs the World. I gave it like a nine point five. So it's definitely my top five favorite albums ever. And this cover is you know. Given some non-influence, what's what's the word? Like inspiration from the the Slayer the Slayer cover. And yeah, it's just super fire. I give this cover probably like a ten. Like Cardi's branding is just super on point, and I think this could just be like him cosplaying Future, or him going back in the trap and making it like a super Tyler the Creator as kind of concept album but it's gonna be like trap and then have dj swizzle that's his name dj swizzle be in the having the tags throughout the project and i think that's kind of what's gonna be like maybe it's gonna go like kind of back in time but still modern you know what i mean but yeah i could be totally tripping this could not be the cover but if it was i think this whole concept would be be kind of it man it'd be kind of fire